Now we're making M4. M4 is a modified block, so we're actually not going to be working from the book. We're going to be working from this booklet. And this is essentially a nine patch block. You have a square surrounded by borders in each corner and the center. And then you have a flying geese unit with a rectangle next to it to make this square. So that's how the assembly is going to go. And I have my pieces all laid out. And basting is very straightforward. Rectangles are going to be short side first and then the long sides. Triangles, I'm going to try to keep all the tags in the easiest spots possible, which is not always going to be possible. But for this situation here, I'm going to make sure that this is the first one that I baste before these so that I can make the tags come in here. This one, I think I'm going to do the same thing so the tags can go this way so I don't complicate matters. Or, or some, I know what's going on here, so I don't necessarily know how they're going to play on the rest of it. So I am going to start on my bottom row, and I'll start by making one of these square bordered units. So I've got my pieces basted for this block, and I'm going to attach the rectangles to the square as so, and then I'll be able to attach the side rectangles. So I've attached the small rectangles to the square and I'm going to now attach the other rectangles to the sides. So I've got my unit assembled and now I am going to move on to this unit. I will baste and make the flying geese section first and then attach the rectangle. So I've got my pieces basted. I basted the hypotenuse on each one and then the legs so my tags are going in towards this triangle and then in towards this rectangle. I'm going to attach the little triangles to the big triangle first and then I'll be able to attach the rectangle. I've assembled my flying geese unit and now I'm going to attach my rectangle. So I've got my flying geese unit all finished, so that's going to end up being attached to this square. So now I'm going to complete this square. Got my other square completed. So now I'm going to take these two and connect them as a row. So I've got my row all assembled, and so this is what we should have at this point. So I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to go on to my next row. So I got my second row units assembled, and now I will just connect them to make the second row completed. So my second row is assembled, and now I'll be able to connect it to my bottom row. So my bottom two rows have now been connected. And this is what I got. So I'm going to move on to my top row and assemble those units. So I've got each of my units assembled for my top row, and so now I will connect them to form the row. So my top row is all assembled. So now it's a matter of making sure I get it in the right direction and attach it to my other two. So now I've got all three of my rows attached and my M4 block is complete.